Hi, this is Emma again from SSLTrust.com Australia and in this video, I am going to be showing you how to successfully install an SSL certificate on your website through EasyPanel. So let's get started. So this is the domain name that we are looking to secure and as you can see, it is not yet secure and we are going to make sure it is. This is the easy panel hosting dashboard. We have deployed our main domain name as a project. So we're going to move on to secure our website through easy panel. So step one in this process is to generate a private key and a CSR to get your SSL certificate. So we're going to do just that. Type in SSL trust CSR generator and click on the first link that comes. And now we are going to generate our certificate sign request and private key using the SSL Trust certificate generation tool. So basically, a CSR or certificate sign in request is nothing but a request initiated by you, the client, to the certificate authority, which contains all the necessary information, such as the domain name and any business details, which are stored in a hashed form. On the technical side, it also contains the public key, which will be signed by the certificate authority and return to you in the issued certificate. So now we're going to fill in these details real quick. Type in your domain name without the www that you want to secure. The name of your organization, such as SSL Trust, the organizational unit, such as IT, the city or town that you reside in, um, state or province country code and type in your email address root name we're going to be using 2048 bit which is the industry standard and click on generate csr scroll down to view your private key and your certificate sign request now it is recommended that you save your private key and your csr in a text file so as to be able to do multiple configurations on the same SSL certificate. Otherwise, you're going to have to do the whole process again in case you make a mistake. So for now, we're going to keep this window open. The next step in this process is to purchase an SSL certificate. So we're going to do just that. So let's head over to the main SSL Trust homepage and purchase an SSL certificate. And as you can see, SSL Trust has established partnerships with all the leading certificate authorities. And you can see a few SSL certificates here. A standard SSL certificate, if you've got a small website going, this is the perfect option for you. A business SSL, if you want to show higher security and authenticity. Then the premium extended validation EVSSL for larger organizations to show a trust badge and so on. Wildcard SSL certificates for securing unlimited subdomains then multi-domain ssl certificates to secure multiple domain names on the same certificate you can always contact our sales team and they will be really happy to help you out selecting the best ssl certificate for you and your business so for now we're going to click on standard ssl certificates since this is a demo video and we're going to go with the commodore positive ssl and then choose the duration of your SSL certificate. Click on buy now. Fill in your details real quick. Choose your preferred method of payment and then click on complete order. So once you click on complete order, you should have your SSL certificate and then you can head over to the dashboard and click on your active product or service and then Click on start certificate configuration. Now what we're going to do is head over to our certificate sign request, either on this window or in a notepad file, which is a better option to save it as text. Copy this from the very start to the very end, including all the dashes at the back and the front. And then paste it right here and click on verify CSR. Now, if these details look good, then we're good to go. And server type, 
we can select other since there's no mention of easy panel and click on next step. In the title, the name, and your email address. Now, if you have a technical contact doing this for you, please enter the details here. Otherwise, you can use admin contact if you're doing this yourself. Click on next step. Now comes the important part of the process, which is domain control validation. So basically, you need to prove to the certificate authority, which in this case is Sectigo, that you own your domain name and have complete access to it. So there are three basic methods of certificate validation. The first, or the easiest one, is the email validation method. So basically, you should have an email with this exact address. Once you click on submit, you will be sent an email, upon which we can click on should contain a link, which should then complete your domain control validation by verifying your ownership. And the second method is the HTTP file method. So basically, you need to create a text file on your server with this exact name and you may need to create these directories if they are not already there and then in this text file you need, to, you need to paste in these contents and then click on check file to make sure that your server is hosting this file and then click on submit configuration but for now for this video we are going to go with the CNAME record validation method. And so you have to navigate to your DNS settings with either your domain name provider or your hosting provider, depending on where you've pointed your name servers to, and then create a CNAME record and add these details to them. So I'm going to log into my DNS settings real quick, choose my domain name. Now what we're going to do is add a new record right here type is going to be CNAME. Now head back to the configuration window, copy the CNAME record value and paste it right here. Do the same for the pointing to value, copy, paste it right here. Click on save. Once you do that, come back to the configuration window and click on submit configuration. As you can see, our configuration was a success. This is our order number and a status is that we are awaiting validation. Click here to access the validation manager. And now we just need to wait for our DNS records to propagate through our server. This process might take a few minutes up to an hour depending on your DNS service propagation speed. But for now, what we can do is copy the CNM record value and then head over to a website called dnschecker.org paste it right here, type CNAME, and then click on search. So as you can see, it has propagated in quite a few places, but we are gonna wait for a few minutes for it to propagate in all locations. For now, what we can do is wait for two minutes and then click on the submit or recheck button to complete domain control validation. So let's submit or reach out. Okay, so it has been a few minutes and looks like our DNS record has propagated in enough places for our certificate to be issued. So let's close this up and then head over to the SSL trust dashboard and click on your SSL certificate. Once you do that, as you can see, the certificate has been issued and now click on the collect or download certificate button here. You can now see your SSL certificate the main certificate, the intermediate certificate, and the root certificate. Okay, so the next step in this process is to upload the SSL certificate files to our server. So now what I'm going to need you to do is open your preferred SSH client, such as Putty or Solar Putty, and I need you to log in as root to your server. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so I'm logged in as root to my server, and now the next thing that we're going to do is create a directory to store all of our SSL certificates. Now you can find all the written commands in the video description of this video, but I'm gonna type it out real quick. So the command to create a directory is sudo make directory p 
and this is the directory that we're going to be creating certificate in slash etc slash easy panel slash traffic trafk slash certs press enter and now we are going to upload the ssl certificate files to the same directory that we just created so type in sudo nano slash etc slash easy panel slash traffic slash sets and let's call our main certificate as certificate dot crt and press enter now we are going to come back to the set collection page copy the main certificate to a clipboard and then paste it right here. Control X, exit the buffer. Now we have uploaded our SSL certificate. We can do the same for our intermediate certificate. And we're gonna call it intermediate CRT. Press enter and then copy the intermediate certificate to a clipboard, paste it right here, and exit the buffer. Now what we need to do is, the final upload is our private key, so sudo nano slash etc slash etc nano slash traffic slash certs and let's call our private key as server dot key let's enter and come back to the CSR window or your text file where you store this. Click on copy and then paste it right here. Exit the buffer. That's it. We have successfully uploaded all the certificate files to our server. Now, what we need to do, let me clear this up. So now what we need to do is create a default custom. We need to create a custom configuration file for traffic. So what we're going to do is type in the command sudo nano slash etc slash easy panel slash traffic slash config and we're going to name the file as custom.yaml which is the extension of this file press enter and now we're going to type in a few commands here or you can copy it from the description of this video tls colon enter let's, let's give two three spaces certificates colon again spaces again dash let's call the main certificate file as set file f capital and then we're going to enter the directory of the ssl certificate file that we've just uploaded so slash etc slash easy panel slash traffic slash certs and the main certificate was called certificate dot crt and we're going to do the same for our private key so just press enter let's give it a few spaces for indentation and then the key file is going to be colon at the same location Okay, so once you've done that, we can now exit the buffer. Control X and then Y and save this file. So now that we have created a configuration file, it is important to now enable it so that this file is executable. I'm going to copy the directory and name of that file. Control C. The command to do that is sudo. 
ch mod a plus rwx now the part of the file so as you can see we have made this file readable and executable okay so the next step in this process is to enable ssl on the easy panel configuration window so we're going to do just that so let's close this up and then head over to easy panel and select your project or your website and then what we're going to do is navigate to domains and once you do that what we need to do now is turn on https and then type in your domain name as the host and then click on save once you click on save your domain should be updated and now what we're going to do is head back to the dashboard and then settings and then traffic we're going to click on restart and then we're going to do a restart on the easy panel service too so restart and now let's close this up we can now view our secure website by typing in https colon double slash your domain name.com and as you can see our site as this is our service we have not configured it yet our connection to the site is now secure and our SSL certificate has been installed. Okay, so this is how easy it was to install an SSL certificate on your website through Easy Panel. Now, I mentioned again that you can find the written guide in the better description of this video, so you can keep up with the commands rather than, and rather than typing them out, you can you can just copy and paste. And if you're easily able to install your SSL certificate, please give this video a like. If you've got any questions, please put them in the comments below. And thanks for watching.